All right, so we're sticking with cricket on this fantastic Friday. Australia are closing in on the victory in the third and final test against Pakistan at the Sydney Cricket Ground. At the end of the day, three, Pakistan were seven for 68, a lead of 82 batting a second time. Josh Hazelwood so far has four wickets in the innings, sparking a Pakistani collapse which consisted of four wickets for just 10 runs. Earlier in the match, the baggy greens were dismissed for 299 with Amir Jamal grabbing 6 for 69, his career best figures as Manas Labushain led the Aussies with 60, while Mitchell Marsh got 53. So Lance, of course, the Australians look as if they're set to close in on this one and seal the deal. What do you make of the performances so far? Well, batting problems for both teams. Um, uh, most... Um a lot of ducks. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and most, this, I want to say decisively, but it isn't decisive yet because yeah. we don't know the result of the match. But yeah. um, Pakistan's collapse to 68 for 7 certainly puts the Australians in a, in a strong position. But um, it's been an interesting series. The Aussies had already gone in with a winning series, winning 2 in a lead in this third and final test match. So uh, they are trying to go for the sweep here. But I... Even if they get the sweep, I think it will be a little bit misleading the, the result of the series if the Aussies win it three zip because the, the Pakistanis have, have put their hands up in many sessions during this series so far and challenged the Aussies in a big way. And uh, there were times, especially in the second test, when the Aussies looked as if they may have been beaten. So um, it's, it's, it's a good tie test. And uh, although the Aussies appear to be in control at the moment because the Pakistanis trail or lead by 82 runs with only three wickets remaining, you know, sometimes chasing those small totals can be difficult. Difficult, yeah. And, and Pakistan's bowling is, is quite good. So I think the Aussies, as we know they can and, and normally do, will have to keep focused and ensure that they be as efficient as, as possible and get the result. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the batting collapse because um, Pakistan batting right now, four of their players dismissed 4-0 without getting any runs on their bat. And for me, Lance, I felt as if I expected better based on what we would have seen from them in the previous two tests. So that is something Pakistan would definitely have to work on. But something for them to celebrate is Amir Jamal and that 6-69, for 69, really, really top bowling from him. What did you make of you know, his performance. Well, career best for him. And uh, as I said, it's one of the potent tools that the Pakistanis have in their, in their bowling army. Yes. So um, they're, they're not short on quality, the Pakistanis. They're a very mercurial team, though. People liken them to the West Indies a lot because you don't know what they're going to do. You know, on their best day, they are world beaters. And then on their worst days, which tends to happen more often than it should, um, they just don't, don't turn up. But Pakistan has never been the kind of team that you underestimate. Um, I have to say that the Australia bowling lineup is a very, very testing one. Josh yeah. Hazelwood picked up four for nine of or five overs today because, um, um, well, Pat Cummins had dominated the captain in, in the first innings, I think. But a very solid Australia bowling lineup that will test any batting lineup in the world. And uh, they were just um, named the new world number one in test cricket, the Aussies displacing the Indians. So I, I can no, long, no longer say on this show, <laughs> which I've been saying for a, a couple of months, that India are number one in the world in all formats. Yeah. Are you happy about that new I, ranking? Yes, I am. I, I like the Aussies. I know. Un unlike most West Indians. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Lance. I'm happy that you got something to smile about um, this Friday. So we're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we have a lot more in store just for you.